I know, this looks so bad, doesn't it? But if you like me, you like to wear your shoes, man. And now I'm about to give you our 30-day life test review. Let's get into it. What's up, world? It's your boy, Iconic. Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are back in the sneaker room. Back with another banger. Back with something different, man. This is my first ever 30-day life test on a sneaker. Um, I am going to be talking about the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found, aka Chicago. They came out last month in November. And I just want to go over uh, like little few things. First, like durability. We're going to talk about um, sizing. We're going to talk about how I felt to wear it 30 days straight. You know, how you can get the fit off. All these different things, man. But before we get started with this video, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feats, the sneaker blind, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. Not gonna waste any more time, y'all. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, man. You see it here, the Air Jordan 1 Chicago, AKA Lost and Founds, man. These did, these did drop, I believe, November 19th. Um, of this year um, I've actually been wearing this shoe every single day since I caught this shoe like it's crazy that um, this was almost like a grail sneaker in a sense when we just talk about the Chicago one and I've literally been wearing this joint to pieces since I bought it bro like wearing it every day not cleaning it not worried about any scuffs it may not show too much on the actual screen but trust me this shoe has been worn 30 days straight I've done photo shoots in this. I have went outside in the rain. And just off rip, bro, just looking at it, man, it definitely still has held up for 30 days straight. Um, one thing I would say for sure about this shoe is that um, it does get better with time. So um, at first I did notice that while wearing this shoe, it did have like a certain tightness around the like, uh, kind of like where the forefoot area is, like right on the sides. It would be really, really tight, but that eventually broke in and back here around the heel area was kind of weird as well. I don't know if anybody mentioned it to y'all, but um, the insole in this sneaker does make this feel a lot snug, snugger than the other pairs of Air Jordan ones that I have. Just in my experience, the, the Air Jordan one insole is usually really thin, and the one that's inside this shoe is very thick. Um, and what that does is allow it to um, just kind of give you a little bit more support. It's not a whole lot of support at all, but I realized that that could cause you to feel like the shoe is a little too small or it's running tight. But again, the more and more you wear the shoe, the more and more it's gonna break in. That is my honest opinion. Now, let me tell you this as well. This shoe is so versatile, bro. so versatile. I wore this shoe with like everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. At some point, I just realized that the combo of red, white, and black can literally go with anything. Um, and I've always been like that, but literally wearing this shoe, it literally goes with your greens, it goes with your yellows, it goes with your whites, it goes with your blacks. You can wear this with light blue jeans, dark blue jeans, tan pants. You can wear these with, um, you know, cargoes, green cargoes, army fatigue cargoes. Like, I was getting these off all month. Um, I would say it was getting kind of difficult because I'm like, damn, like, I got a bunch of red and black stuff. I'm like, okay, it's starting to get to a point where it's like I'm kind of starting to repeat, repeat some stuff. But that's not a bad thing either, bro. Like, a big thing for me is that if you love certain t-shirts, jackets, pants you know what i mean like i'm not saying wear the same pair of pants every single day but if you can if you want to wear it twice a week do your thing bro i think it's so much stigma on um how you should wear your clothes if you like a, a shirt or a hoodie wear that shit twice a week bro wear it as many times as you want to now i would suggest cleaning it or <laughs> at the minimum like if you got a pair of pants that you wear twice a week you know wash them you feel me you gotta wash them at least once um you gotta wash them joints after you wear them that way you can re-wear them the next next following day out of the week but anyway as far as as far as anything dog i would strongly suggest all that y'all do not be afraid to switch out the laces right so the safe way in my opinion is the black laces but when you throw on those white laces bro it really 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 gives this shoe a pop um and i would say that's when you can get off those cream colors those uh green those browns um those oranges using these tan laces or these like creamish white laces has allowed me to get so many fits off with this in so many different ways. Now, the biggest thing I want to speak about that I've been noticing the whole time while wearing this shoe, and like when I take them off, just looking at them, bro, the shape and like the whole layout of the shoe is just totally different. Just looking at this shoe, man, I realized that there's just a whole different shape, man. When you look at your, like your 2016 Brad Jordan 1s, or you look at the um, 
shot of bat boys, if you look at your UNC's, this whole sneaker, the way it's shaped, the way it's formed, the way it's breaking in, is totally different. Totally different. And I, I, I promise you, man, I think out of wearing all my Jordan 1's for so long, I actually like this style a little bit more. Now, I know a lot of people want to try to compare these to the 85. I personally believe that um, after looking at pictures, not 1,000% sure because I don't have a 94 pair, but I feel like this reminisce more of like an Air Jordan 1 uh, Chicago from 94 with an 85 sole. Um, again, if you just look how it's shaped, it's shaped way different. And I think um, in the long run, that's what allows it to like look so great on feet because it doesn't look so like, I don't know, it feels kind of slimmer too in my opinion. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm tweaking, but at the same time, I think it's really good. But yeah, man, let's just see, as far as like scuffs and anything, you should see what's going on, man. I do not have anything to hide. I've worn these joints literally in every single condition of weather, man. I wore them the other day, and I was so pissed off because I was like, fuck, I stepped in the puddle. And I literally like stepped in a big puddle. It had rain, it was like a little, not flooded, but a little flooded, and I stepped in the puddle, man. And you couldn't even tell. You literally couldn't even tell. It's like the leather on these, uh, it's really good when it comes to like water resistance. Now, would I suggest go stand in a puddle and just walk through puddles all day? No. But for me to like mistakenly step in a big like abundance of water and it to bounce back just like this, the same color red and everything, it's crazy. So I think personally, I know a lot of people wanna know, is this shoe worth resale, right? Is it worth resale? I'm gonna just be 1,000% honest with you. I'm still trying to get more pairs. As of right now, I have about four extra pairs. I have two men's pairs and two grade schools, right? I would love another pair of this because this shoe is so nice, so great. It's breaking in so well, as you can see on the side panels. You know, it always had that crack in there. It has that crack in there, but it doesn't look bad. Like the collar isn't doing anything extra, in my opinion. Like I said, I do love the feel on these because it feels way better than like a UA in my opinion. I've scuffed these up so bad too, y'all. Look at that. Bottom, this is the bottom right here. As you can tell, that little hit of like, um, what you would say, like that weather look, it's kind of gone now. Um, it's not it's not completely gone, but it's not showing as much, it's not showing as much as it was before when I first got the sneaker. So I definitely would say if you wear these, that will kind of fade away. So don't even stress the whole bottom, the stressing or uh, age look on the bottom. As far as anything, bro, as well, um, I, again, I will say, like, as far as comfort, it's a Jordan 1. Um, I would give it maybe a 6 out of 10. I would say for a fact, my left foot, every time I wore this shoe, my left foot at night would give me, like, some type of pain. And I think because my left foot is bigger than my right foot, I've always felt like that. But right in here, right, like I told y'all, right in here on the shoe, right in here, this is the same area on my foot that hurts after a long day of wearing these. And like I said, I be wearing them. Like I be doing photo shoots in these joints, going shopping, going to do my errands. Uh, been doing everything in this shoe. As y'all can see, it's creased up. Uh, one thing you are gonna notice from, maybe just cause my damn feet is wide and maybe my ankles are super big, but this is kind of how it's looking after a 30 day wear on the heel. Slight creasing or whatever, um, right back there. And I'm just telling y'all, man, like I wanna, I would love to do a, like a crazier video for this. Maybe like more on feet type vibe, but I personally think this is a great shoe. I definitely think if you like this shoe, I will grab it, bro. I think you you don't miss with this one. At first, everybody was all over the, you know, you were kind of on the fence with the distressing, but I personally think like this shoe is great, man. When you just look at all these super details, all the things that make the shoe great, Looking at the swoosh, swoosh is totally different when you look at like the 2016 pair of uh, Air Jordan 1s. Excuse me, I just think, I just personally think it's a really, really well shoe that is versatile. So, I know y'all see me do this at the beginning of the video because again, I wear my sneakers, I'm not tripping on it. Um, I know a lot of people may feel a way about that. It's not a flex at all, but I just want y'all to know, man, wearing this shoe 30 days straight really made me realize that, you know, we have abundance of sneakers back here in the closet. Um, I'm constantly like selling, getting rid of stuff, but I definitely would, will, um, I definitely would say that this sneaker itself is the shoe of the year for me. 
Um, again, 30 days straight. I didn't. I have never worn a shoe 30 days straight, but with this one, I felt the need to do that. And also to give y'all that update to say, yeah, man, spend the 500 bucks because it is at 500. Crazy, bro. Mark my words. 750, 800 next year, bro. Easy, easy. Just looking at this right now. And if you know, I don't know if they're gonna do another um, like drop at all. I doubt it because it's so far ahead. I did hear that they um, did have some of these at the employee store, bro. People were getting this shoe for $90. That's insane. That's insane. Shout out to my boy Marcus Carter for giving me that info. And shout out to Unbreakable Kicks for like letting us know that a member had told him as well. So it is true information that at, a, at the Nike employee stores, they were giving these out. Um, my, my boy told me he was going to hit me up and keep me updated as well. But again, man, what y'all think about the Air Jordan 1 Chicago, man? Um, I already did an own feed. I already did like a styling video. You can see my reels in that. So I'm not going to keep doing that. I'm not going to keep like throwing that in the picture for y'all to keep having to see. But I definitely think for a fact that this shoe is worth every penny. Um, especially if you haven't been copping all year. You're looking like, oh, what's that girl shoe? definitely would say the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found is that shoe. Again, I love it more with the white laces. I just feel like it gives it more of a pop. And the laces aren't really white, they're like a cream. I told y'all that before. Again, if you just look at all the storytelling of the shoe, down to the box. As you can see, I still got mine looking good, looking great. Um, a lot of fakes out there now, man. I'm, I'm hoping to get like an updated version for y'all to be able to show y'all what to look for. But I would say you're pretty safe as well, man. If you know what to look for, go watch my um, How to Legit Jack the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found video. Again, there are more updated fakes, but I think if you do those exact things that I told you to do in that video, you'll be able to legit check your shoe, man. Um, one thing about it, you know, it's little subtle differences. A lot of this stuff is not 1,000% the same across the board, but it should be some type of balance. When you look at the paper, when you look at the box, when you smell the shoe, all those different things uh, play a factor. Even if somebody took all the all the stuff out, put it with real deal stuff in it, and then put the fake shoes in it, you will be able to tell if you look at the shoe, you smell the shoe, you look at you look at the swoosh. You know, you do your, you do your, you do what you need to do to verify your shoe, and then get somebody else to verify it as well. So, yeah, man, I definitely love this shoe. Definitely a grab for me. Definitely something I'm glad I grabbed for 2022. Glad I, I got multiple pairs. I copped um, one for like 250, uh, only 250. Another one for like 350. Um, the GS I hit for retail, another GS I paid 200 So I would say if you're really looking to invest in this shoe, grab GS right now. If you can't afford a lot of mans, grab GS right now because that is going to go up. But just look how beautiful this shoe is, bro. It's looking like 1995 for real when I look at this shoe, man. And I'm glad I have it in the collection. But that is it, man. I have something special else coming up this evening for y'all for a video, man. But before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feats, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Let me know what you think about this video down below in the comments. Should I do more 30-day life test videos for y'all? I'm not trying to bite anybody else's swag, but I really love doing this, but I wanna hear from y'all, should I keep going? Thank y'all, man. Peace.